हेलो सब्सक्राइबर्स वेलकम बैक टू पी आर जी सी फिजिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ शानी डूबरी ना वी आर हेयर विद अनदर एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेशन दैट इज टू मेजर दी वोल्टेज करेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सोलार सेल विदाउट एनी फॉर द डिले लेट्स क्विकली लुक इन टू इट्स एम एंड एपरेट दी एम ऑफ अर टू डेज एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू प्लॉट दी वोल्टेज करेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सोलार सेल एंड टू डिटर्माइन इट्स फिल फैक्टर You know that solar cell is a device which converts light energy to electrical energy. Now, in this experiment, we are going to see its voltage current characteristics. The apparatus required for this experiment are a solar cell, a hundred watt bulb, load resistance, an altimeter to measure the voltage, and milliammeter to measure the current, a meter scale to measure the distance. Now I'm going to actually show these apparatus for you. As you can see, this is a solar cell to which we have attached a load resistance at its back. There are two wires for the solar panel. This one represents the positive terminal and the black one represents the negative terminal. It is a 100 watt bulb. a meter scale to measure the distance a milliammeter to measure the current and an voltmeter to measure the potential these are the apparatus required for our experiment now let us look into the circuit connection so this is a circuit diagram of our experiment as you can observe here our solar panel is placed in front of the incident light uh, so look at this arrangement this is our 100 watt bulb which act as our incident light this is a solar panel which i placed opposite to each other so this is a circuit diagram as you can see our solar panel is placed in front of an incident light so this is a solar panel it is placed in front of our incident light that is a 100 watt bulb so our next connection the positive terminal of the solar panel is given to the positive terminal of milliammeter so this is our milliammeter so the positive and negative the positive terminal of solar panel is given to the positive terminal of milliammeter the negative terminal of the milliammeter is given to the positive of load resistor if you can see this is the positive terminal of load resistor and the negative of milliammeter is connected to this so the negative terminal of the milli uh, load resistor is connected to the negative terminal of solar panel it is the negative of solar panel it is connected to the negative of load resistance now we are introducing a voltmeter which is connected in parallel to the circuit the positive terminal of the load resistance is given to the positive terminal of the voltmeter and the negative terminal of the load resistance is given to the negative terminal of voltmeter now let us see these connections so i already made the connections the positive terminal of the voltmeter is given to the positive of resistance and the negative terminal is given to the negative of resistors so all our connections are done now we are going to start the experiment now we are going to measure the distance between solar panel and the incident light as you can observe it's 15 cm so throughout the experiment i am keeping the distance as a constant entity so the distance between source and the panel which we measured is 15 cm throughout the experiment this quantity remains constant 
in this experiment we are varying the load resistance with the help of this knob and measure the corresponding voltmeter and ammeter readings at the maximum resistance value the corresponding voltage is zero and the corresponding current is around uh, 10.2 milliamperes as you can observe it is 10.2 milliamperes short circuit current that is isc here the voltage is zero that means the resistance is at maximum and if you multiply voltage into current you will get the power value now we are going to reduce the resistance as you can see when we are uh, reducing the resistance the voltage is getting increased here it is around 0.6 volts and the corresponding ammeter milliammeter reading is 10.4 sorry 10.4 milliamperes that is it is 0.6 volts and it is 10.4 milliamperes reducing the resistance little further the corresponding increment in the voltage is 1.4 and the current remains as 10.4 milliamperes further decreasing the resistance as you can see the voltage is increased to 2.6 volts and the current is at 10.4 milliamperes so it is 2.6 volts and 10.4 milliamperes so repeat the process by reducing the resistance and the corresponding voltmeter and milliammeter readings are measured and the readings of voltmeter and milliammeter are tabulated so if you further repeat the experiment these are the values you will get and as you can see you cannot further reduce this knob as you can see this resistor knob is fixed here resistor knob is fixed here you cannot further reduce the resistance now to measure the voltage at 0 milliamps current let us connect the positive terminal of solar panel to the voltmeter positive and the negative terminal of the solar panel to the voltmeter negative so if we had made the connections and observe the reading it comes around to be 5.8 volts so 5.8 volts so this voltage is termed as voc that is an open circuit voltage so if you had multiplied the voltage with current you will get the value of power p is equal to va so if you observe carefully there is a place at which you will get the maximum power in this case it's 50 it is termed as the maximum power point that is mpp the corresponding current is termed as maximum current im and the corresponding voltage is given as vm the maximum voltage now you need to plot the graph by taking the current on x axis and the voltage on y axis so if you plot these values at a particular point you will get the maximum power a trial line corresponding to the voltage that is the vm and to trial line corresponding to current it gives our im value so tabulate these values and substitute in the formula the formula for fill factor is vm into im by open circuit voltage into short circuit current as we are going to measure the fill factor in terms of percentage so multiplying this formula with the 100 will give us the fill fill factor percentage so if we have substituted the maximum voltage maximum current open circuit voltage and short circuit current the value of fill factor is around 84.5% that is the ratio of maximum usable power to idle power of this solar panel is 84.5% 
so in this way we can measure the va characteristics of solar cell and can determine the fill factor thank you for watching